guys are so big. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how big these guys are now. Their feathers are coming in, so they're kind of like shaggy and multicolored. Hi there. So this is the second half of the brooder that we put on. It's another dog kennel and it attaches at the door. This was a genius invention of my hubby. So they have a little more room over here and then the roost that we put in there, this big stick is, it goes through both. So they're able to get on that on either side. There's plenty of room for them to do that. They are flapping around quite a bit. So um, I'm not sure if that just means that they're growing. Look at that one, tail feathers are, are coming in for real, wow. I don't know if that means that they're stressed or just growing or you know that it's just too small or what but they're definitely very active and definitely flapping a lot there's a couple of them that do seem to be um a little bit more aggressive i guess and they kind of challenge each other so we're just trying to watch that and just kind of make sure obviously a pecking order is is completely natural but we also want to just make sure that they're not stressed and that they're healthy and they're not like injuring one another. So we're just, we're just checking them out every day, but they're really sweet little birdies. Hi. These guys are so big now. Hi there. So these two, these three over here on this side of the brooder are big guys. Here, and then we got some. I wonder if we have one of their feathers. Lucky. Hey, Daddy. Up can I give them some corn? Just a little yeah. bit? Okay. So, yeah, see? I'm going to show you. I just got back from home from school. And so I'm going to show you how we get them some uh, sweet corn. No, cracked corn. Cracked corn. But you take a little tiny handful, like barely any. Okay. Just sprinkle it in. Oh, and then they know to come look for it. And this is like a dessert for them. Uh, and then just like sprinkle it. And then I also like to give a little bit on that side of the brooder. Oh, oh, hello. Whoa. Okay, give them a little more so they're not fighting over here. Yeah. Oh, Sorry. so definitely that sound, they know. Yep. Wow, look how big they are. They're very smart now. We've only given them cracked corn a couple of times. work on the coop has started today. This is going to be our ceiling to, that keeps predators out. So we've got eye bolts and thimbles. Someone leaving? <laughs> And what are these things called? Look. I've always called them Crosby's. Here are the Crosby's. 
Okay, this is them all. Yeah. This is more of the coop progress. What is this called again? This is the apron to keep predators from digging up under it. But what is the wire called? It's just fencing. Okay, so we've got fencing down here. Yeah, you can't see it very well in the corner over there, but, but it's there. And, and that is, it. yeah, zip tied together to keep predators from digging up at the edges of the coop. And then here's the ceiling grid. Tron grid, as it has been dubbed. The Tron grid, yeah. Apparently. It doesn't look quite as good as it looked in, on the camera. I didn't touch it first, but it looks great. So this is how the grid ceiling will work. They were going to put fencing on top of the grid to make it kind of sturdy. That'll help keep any kind of animal out and keep the chickens in. And then on top of that fencing will be the hardware cloth to kind of tighten it down and have a have it really predator proof because certain animals can still get into this little fencing. So the hardware cloth they can't. And then we've got a door that's come in, an automatic door that's come in right here so that it's open right now but we'll have an automatic door that we'll show you that'll go there Need one more these guys are so big but hello how are you you can start to see the comb on that one. Oh wow, like every day they change. There's one in there that's got a real big comb. Let's see if I can get close enough in the camera. And honey is coming up on us too. Yeah. And if you don't know, she's our barn cat. Yes. There's the one with the comb. Oh, hello. <laughs> When, really tall and really feathered. Yeah, see the red comb over there under the light now. That's where. Yeah, so they are really getting big. And hey, I think you like the camera, don't you? You want to talk and say hi to everybody? Oh, look how cute this is. Watch. Look at this. I don't want to. Not you, honey. I need that. <laughs> Are they poking you? Yeah, they're all around. Pecking you? Oh, hello. Heard a cluck cluck. Mm -hmm. So we're starting to see lots of combs, and we had to change the bulb, bulb of the heat lamp. It kind of shattered. It didn't really shatter. It didn't hurt the chickens, but it separated away from the metal of the light and it quit working. So we changed the bulb out and they're good. But they are almost fully feathered. So we're really working on the coop. This one is just looking at the camera. Hey, how you doing? And then we also have, um, yeah, honey barn cats right here beside us. They've kind of gotten used, used to each other now, which is good. Okay, bye chickies. Chick, chick. You see, honey? <laughs> bye chickies. Okay, here is our roost. Zach made this entire thing. By himself. Uh-huh. And we used um, two by four. Two by four? Two two by fours. And we're using oh, our old. <gasps> it's one two by four cut in half, okay. Um. But we also used some U-boat, U-bolts, not a U-boat. That's a very different thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, we used U-bolts to keep the bamboo in. And this will be like a ladder kind of. So uh -huh. it's going to be a bit more vertical than horizontal. So the chickens can hop here, here, or here. But we, they can't get on here. We chose round because, number one, we had it in the barn. It was bamboo and round because that's easier to clean off the poop and 
And it's easier for the chickens to look like the it's you, for them to grab onto it? Yes, yeah. it's easier for them to grab onto it and it doesn't turn. That was Zach's invention. How did you do that? Very cool. How did you make it not turn? Not so these. Yeah. Just these ones? Yeah. I just tightened these down so they wouldn't turn. Ta-da! Hey everybody. It's a dusty, dirty day at the farm. We are almost done with the chicken coop. And to say it's been a family effort is an understatement, but just for the record, I'll have everybody know that I probably did the least, just so everybody knows. But I did try to do some things. So, so we're getting ready to take you on a tour of the coop, the finished coop. As you can hear, we're still working back there. Um, John has done all of the engineering and measurement and figuring out the best way to do uh, the coop with what we had and what supplies we needed to make sure that our chickens were safe. We were very focused on predator, predator proofing the coop because we really didn't want something to happen to the chickens. So um, that is what you'll see a lot of is hardware cloth everywhere we could put it so that no predators could come in through um, the ground or the ceiling or the sides or the walls. So that is what you'll see a lot of. Um, we used fencing in some places. We zip tied a lot of things together. We used um, washers and screws, just lots of simple stuff. And we got this thing safe for the chicks. So we're hoping that we can get the chicks in there today. Today's Memorial Day. And we're really hoping we can get the chickens in there today. And then we're going to the Veteran Cemetery and pay respect to my dad. So we just want to take time out of today to, to, um, to honor fallen soldiers. Um, but we did have the day off work, so we're also working on the barn. So anyway, hopefully this video will end with the chickens coming home. It's gonna be fun. So the last step we have is to put in the food there in their food tubes and finish the last pipe that's going to go here to their water. So there is the roost. This pipe, this water pipe is going to go outside as well. Um, our chicken run is going to be out that window there. We've got a door on order an automatic door that's going to come it's solar powered and that can they'll be able to get out to the run and so then our run will also have water john has engineered special cutoff valves so that we can cut off the different parts of the water while we're working on it this is the water system that we ended up going with um, we've got videos that shows you how we did all this, but right now we're just at the end of this and we wanna show the chickens coming home to their coop. So we've just put in the pine shavings. This is one of the things that we researched to see what was best to put down. And this may not be what we stay with forever, um, but it's what we wanted to start with. So um, then this roost was made with bamboo that was in the barn and we wanted to use the round so that their feet could grab it and not flat so that um, you don't have to clean off the chicken poop. And then this has a hinge on it so that we can lift it up when we are cleaning out the stall. Okay, close look at the roof. So if you can see our barn, you know, we have a second deck up there. So a second floor up there. So we didn't want predators coming in from the top. So we have a grid, first of all, of this right here 
I can't reach it, but this right here, that wire creates a grid all the way across. And then the next layer is, um, I think it's cattle fencing here. And then we've got hardware cloth on top of that. And it's all held in place with these pieces and the hooks. And then we've zip tied it. So we've got a predator proof roof. Um, we used, we're able to use the barn had two standing walls. So we were able to use those walls, but we did have to put hardware cloth because as you can see, there's gaps. So we wanted to make sure no predators could get in that way. So we put hardware cloth around that. Um, then we had to build this wall right here, the door and this wall. And that's all hardware cloth. And then we put hardware cloth on that side as well. That's where the uh, lay-in boxes will be. The egg boxes will be there, but we just needed to get them into the coop first. So we'll have to do those next after we do the run. So we just have to today put, finish up the water line, load the food, and then bring the chickens in. And they're in for tonight. So we're a couple weeks behind because the weather here was actually a lot cooler than it has been in uh, this in May previously. And so we just really had to make sure that that it was warm enough because there's no electricity down here right now and we couldn't rely on any kind of heaters and they needed to be completely feathered and we didn't want temperatures going really below 60 right now just to just to get them acclimated. So this is a door, John just bought this, a screen door, but then he replaced the screen with hardware cloth. And again, lots of washers everywhere. And then you can see that there's even a, a wedge right here because there was a gap. And so John just wanted to be sure that no predators could come in. And so he closed that gap with wood. And then this is the fencing that is on the edge all the way around here to make sure that predators couldn't dig under. So then if a predator is able to somehow like open this door like that, we have these um, to just make sure that it can't get in. We've got one on the top and one on the bottom. Just a simple carabiner and you know, that's all this is. It's a chain carabiner and a simple um, lock here. But now if a predator does somehow get under here and like starts to pull this, you know, they can't, they cannot, there's no gap. As hard as you pull, there's no gap. So that's that part of the design. And then here's like just lots of washers that joined the two sections of hardware cloth together. And then John put wood all the way around the edge on the bottom so that they couldn't dig. Nothing can dig. There's wood on this side. There's wood over there. There's wood over there. And then we used that wall for the, the barn um, on that side. So it's not completely finished, but it is ready for chickens. Yeah, no predator's gonna be able to get in here. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is when we're getting ready to load the chickens in here and see what they think. Like I said, we are a couple weeks overdue for this and they are big. And I think they're pretty miserable in their um, little brooder. <laughs> so we need to get them in this bigger space. So I don't know, I'm kind of bad at measurements, but I'm guessing it's probably um, maybe 15 by 15, something like that, 15 by 10. But it's definitely bigger than the brooder, which was an old dog kennel. So, two old dog kennels put together. Um, so we do have a room for about 100 pounds of feed. And the only bad thing is we've got to, on the other side of this, we have the, the top to put the food in, but it's required, we're gonna have to have a bench or something or a step back there. To, to be able to put it in. We have water! Wow! It's squirting 
me. Okay, chickies, it's almost time. Okay, chickies, next stop, your new home. Yay! And I'm sitting in the back with them while we go down to the barn. And we've got like three roosters. Okay, here we go. Release the chickens. Come on, chickens. Come on, chickies. You have a new home. New home, come on. The There's the first for. one. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, let's go see what's out here. We Come on! Have one out it's the, the rooster. Room. Yep. Here they go. They're finishing up this water, and they're starting to explore. What do you think? Like, oh, hey, I found water. Oh, water, water, water. <laughs> Kick the other one. Yep, that's your water. Good job. Oh, that's nice. I think that's what's drawing them out is the water. Yeah. Now they're starting to explore. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they quenched all their thirst. And now they're starting to explore. They've also pooped a lot. Oh, they're all spread out. I'm hoping they'll get up on their roost, too. They're around it, which means they've discovered it. We put yeah. one up on the roost. And over there is the food. Yeah. But nobody has really discovered it because it's a little tall for them. So, um, But we did put some on the ground for them to peck at and eat. Much bigger space. Well, that's a wrap on our first chicken adventure.